We are alive. Johnny Five alive. No disassemble. Kind of a rough night sleeping. Woke up about 3, 3.30 or something like that, sweating to death. Left the truck running because I was expecting it to be like 25 degrees out or something this morning when I woke up. And I guess it didn't get quite as cool out as it was, it was, I was expecting. So it got pretty warm in the truck. I mean, looking at the, right, the TV screen in front of me and it's saying 51 degrees. So uh, I should have shut the truck off last night. Enjoyed the cool weather, but it's all right. We, we left it running. Probably lost 10 pounds of sweat. That's fine. It goes that way sometimes. But we got to go down and get unloaded and head down to Halls, Tennessee to reload. Going to just west of Wichita. Wichita. <coughs> I'm going to go with 79,500. Sounds like a good number. Brian's been pretty accurate on his weight, so. Get up here and get this sucker on the scale. Let's bend these scales, guys. Let's bend them. Stop. 79,640. Blowfish. Just while I'm waiting to get loaded, I'll crimp these ends on these bungee cords that I've had in the pasture seat for a while. Definitely not going to hurt. Real easy. Put them in a channel logs or my grips, my case, can it picks. <laughs> Crush them down. Real simple. It's easier to buy the pre-crimped bungee cords, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. 
just don't put your fingers in the way. Just like that. He's a buddy of mine, he says, the best thing to do is buy them and go get your favorite cold drink and sit down in a lawn chair. Drink your favorite cold drink. And crimp bungee cords. <laughs> it's only like a couple dollar difference either way. But some people are that way. They'd rather spend their money somewhere else. There we go. Got them all crimped up. <laughs> and the reason you want these is if you don't have this end pushed in, it sticks out and it'll rub a hole in your tarps. It'll eat your tarps up. So that's the purpose of having crimped ends on your bungee cords. And it's better to spend time crimping the ends of the bungee cord than it is to spend time trying to patch a tarp. Just my opinion.
much more relaxing not being stuck all the way on the interstate dealing with all the idiots. Well, I guess I was going to swing through the hoods and get fuel, but it's going to take me about 20 to 30 minutes to top off there. I really don't want to waste a lot of time, but I got enough time to make it over to Parsons to the stockyards. Park there, but I can get, pull in there and get fuel tonight and do my post trip and all that fun stuff at one time versus, you know, getting up in the morning and wasting another 15, 20 minutes getting fuel. Get it all done tonight, and I can just get up in the morning, truck on. Uh, Technically, we won't have to stop and get fuel tomorrow. We should be able to make it all the way back. Uh, to unload on getting fuel over here. In theory. Uh, I can't stress enough about time management on e-logs. Every second counts. Whether people realize it or not. Every second counts. So, you know, stop it now. It's going to cost me more tomorrow versus just doing it all in one shot, saving a little bit of time to make it make it a little further tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> the goal is, you guys probably ain't going to believe this. But my goal is tomorrow is to make it back to Cuba and get this thing washed. I mean, you guys can see my handprints on the hood there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this thing is disgusting. Outside, man, I need to clean the inside up really good. Throw that box away. Not as much worried about stuff in the seat, because you know, that's kind of like my catch-all. Put everything there so I can just reach over and grab it are going these two people hey come they speed up i can't catch them and they slow down i get in behind them as soon as i take, take off the pass and they speed up again these type of people drive me nuts i'm just trying to have a nice relaxing day here oh well looking like we're having a nice sunset that's always a good thing. There you go. Take to get over there. It's old Cummins. Got that big old exhaust tip on there. I know, let's see if he rolls some coal. Come on, light. We ain't got all day to wait on you. Get that piece of junk coming's going. Do, 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 do. Come on. Let me get up on the turbo. We can get him. Come on, light. You gotta go green. Oh, there you go, green. No coal. gears or an automatic probably an automatic come on we're Sam Mauer Missouri Sam Mauer Don't 
make sense to me. That little pickup truck, I passed them all back. They did everything they could to get out in front of me at the last light. Knowing that when I get up and rolling, I'm going to be running faster than them. So why do they make such a big deal to get back out in front of a truck? That never makes sense to me. I mean, yeah, it's going to take me a minute longer or so to get going, but... We're, uh... Once I get rolling, though, I'm rolling. Oh, Pinsky got me because he got an automatic. Every time I shift, I lose just enough momentum. They pull on me. They're pulling on me. They got me. Oh, well. Beautiful sunset. I like it. city that's 
to do is come over here, so. Oh, shut up, stupid. You got a bright light. I had plenty of room to get through there. You're doing a speed limit. <laughs> We did make it. That speed limit's only 45. That idiot probably doing about 55, 60. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I ain't a cop. I can't turn around and write him a ticket, but I can call him an idiot. Now you got this guy that's going to go way under the speed limit. I could have beat him. I like this old truck stop too because they got two bays here you can actually fit your truck and trailer into. It's really nice. I probably ought to, if I can get up early enough in the morning, pull in there and wash the radiator out on this thing. Probably would not hurt.